Hello everybody, my name is Jihoon from Bro Canadians, and this is going to be another mod review. Now the mod we're looking at today is the Galaxy Warfare mod by Sheenrocks82. Now this mod is very expansive and there's lots of things to talk about, but thankfully you only have to learn the basic principles to get going with the mod. Now, so let's talk about the new ores. There are two new ores. There are Titanium, which is harder to find than Diamond, and Black Steel, which is harder to find than Titanium. So yes, they're quite rare. Um... To mine these, these um, ores, there's two ways. One way is to mine titanium with a diamond pickaxe to get a titanium lump, which can be smelted into titanium ingots. Uh, these ingots can be used to make titanium shovels, axe, or pickaxes, which, you know, if they're more rare to find in diamonds, then they're probably better. And these titanium tools can be used to mine black steel. And when you mine them, you get black steel lumps that can be smelted into ingots which cannot be crafted into tools however you can craft them into black steel plates uh, another more simpler way is by using obsidian to craft a drill head which can be used to craft a titanium drill which has the same efficiency and durability as the titanium pickaxe um, once you have these basic materials you can now start to make the essential block for this mod so First, you need to craft the auto programmer, which can be used to program an unprogrammed chip to a programmed one. Once you have a programmed chip, you can start to make weapons after you harness electric current in a glass container. Once you have crafted the AVT290, the most basic weapon in the game and has 25% more power in terms of damage than a diamond sword, you can add upgrades like increasing damage, rate of fire, or even both. Um, these upgrades require extra time and resources, like the recorder, which can turn a program chip into a recorded chip, which can be used for three important things, to make weapons, to upgrade weapons, and to make energy tanks, which is important later on. Once you have upgraded your AVT290, you can now finally fight mobs. But wait, you can't just fight any old mobs without armor, because those like black nano guards will kill you in one shot unless you have spec op soldiers to help you which are pretty rare to make soldier armor is pretty simple you just use titanium ingots to replace the diamond or iron to make to craft armor except for the helmet where you put a glass plane in the center now titanium or soldier armor is like a tier higher than diamond and um, black steel is a tier above um, titanium so what you want to get for the long run is black steel. Um, black nano armor are crafted almost in the same way except that a program chip is being used. Now if you want to get the most upgraded gear you possibly can, you first need to get a hack chip from a hacker block. So this is the last, and well, almost the last upgrade you can possibly do to your um, armor and weapons. Um, to make the hacker chip, you need a recorder chip and right click on a hacker block. To upgrade the weapon or armor, you just add the item in the middle and ha add the hacker chip below it. Then surround the item with energy tanks. Hack weapons and armor gives you the most protection, damage, and rate of fire. However, you can, you can also enchant armor and a sword to add extra protection and or sharpness, durability, etc. This finish off the mod review and I hope you enjoyed the video and consider you to download the mod. Also, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye!